What's up guys, Austin Numa here with MotionArray.com and today we're going to walk through a simple before and after wipe right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you may have seen this technique used to show different visual effects in your favorite behind the scenes videos and now you too can show a difference in your changes in a sequence, such as this color effect seen here. We'll cover the basics on how you can achieve this look for your next project. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my clip on my timeline. I'm ready to make look really cool, and I'll do that by using a couple of color presets. In this case, I've downloaded the Big Color Presets Pack from MotionArray.com. You can find this linked in the description below if you want to check out some of the really cool effects that are included in this. We've got Acid, Black and White, Cinematic, Extra, Gradients, and VHS. I think I'm going to go with something cinematic. So let me do Cinematic Dark One, which it looks like I already have selected here. Let me drag that onto my clip, and that looks really cool. So if I want to show the difference between this clip and what I originally had to an audience in a behind the scenes video, I'd want to do like a linear wipe. So in that case, I'm going to select this clip here, hold down Alt, and drag up to my second track. What this does is duplicate this layer along with the preset. Now you'll see here under your effect controls, we've got a couple of things that were applied by this specific preset. So we're going to select this, highlight it, but just clicking on it and hit delete. And we'll take both of those out. So now we have our original clip on top and that's fine that's exactly what we want now i want you to go to your effects panel and look up linear wipe drag linear wipe onto your top clip here and then we're going to change a couple of things about this what i want to do specifically is find the transition completion so i'll go to the beginning of my clip here on the top layer and i'm going to set the transition completion keyframe for a value of zero right here in the beginning then i'm going to go through where i want the transition to complete maybe about right here in between and i'm going to set another keyframe i'm going to increase the value to 100. what that's going to do is it's going to create a linear wipe coming from the left and going to the right. Now there's a couple ways you could do it. If I wanted to have it come from the right going to the left, then I would simply change up my wipe angle to maybe negative 90 in the beginning. And now you'll see that it'll come from the opposite side of your frame. Alternatively, if I wanted this wipe angle to come from the top down, then I would go to the beginning keyframe here and set this to maybe 180. Then that would start from the top and go down on the frame. I could also do a zero value and that'll come from the bottom up. And that's as easy as it is to apply this effect to your footage. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, I encourage you to check out some of our other tutorials right here on motionarray.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.